Guys, sometimes a car comes along with such automotive racing pedigree, engineering perfection and styling that the gods himself created. And you think to yourself, I have to have this car. And you save, and you scrounge, and you find this money. And then you go and buy the cheapest Impreza you can find on Marketplace. What have I done? This is a 2001 Super Impreza RX wagon. Unlike WRX, which had a rally history and achieved everything in life, this is kind of like the twin sister that kind of looked just as good, but definitely didn't have the brains or the wherewithal to achieve as much in life. It's got a flat four two litre boxer engine putting out a whopping 125 horsepower through an all wheel drive automatic transmission. Guys, before you think I've gone completely insane, let me explain myself a little bit. I'm gonna sit in the boot of this car because it's bloody windy and it's affecting the mic. Oh gross, oh gross. We'll get to that. Ow. It's not as big as my Forester. So, why did I buy this car? Well, as most of you will know, I've got the Nugget. I towed a Nugget with my wife's Volvo. Now the problem is that when I steal the Volvo, to go and go racing. My wife's left without a car. She can't drive manual, so she can't drive my Sora. This isn't good. So I thought, why not buy myself an auto car, fix it up, and then she can drive it when I'm still in the Volvo. Perfect. Also, it means my beautiful Sora won't get bashed up. I don't know if you guys have driven in Melbourne lately, but the driving quality is horrendous. Especially in my area, like, Kids that's bashing car doors, opening car parks, it's a whole thing. Anyway, my saw is beautiful. I don't want it to get any more damage. So, I found this thing. This was the cheapest Impreza running on Marketplace. Um, let's have a look at it. Okay, let's start with the bad. The mechanical problems on this. The biggest one, the biggest problem with this car, and I'm gonna get a torch under here so you can see it. Have a look. At that exhaust. <laughs> that is the most ghetto welded exhaust ever and it doesn't have cats. So some Muppet has cut it out and it's a straight pipe that sounds horrendous and it won't be roadworthy because it has no cats. That's problem number one and that's our biggest issue. The second one is the power steering boots are dead. I'll deal with that, that's fine. And also our brakes are making a hell of a squealy noise. Aesthetically, oh, obviously the major one, we're missing a wheel. And the wheels that we do have are ugly as sin. So, apart from the mechanical stuff, aesthetically, it's not the greatest. We've got lots of paint missing. The bonnet is peeling something chronic. Um, but, but the body is actually straight. It's mainly scratches and paint. The interior, uh, the biggest issues we have in here, apart from it being very dirty, is this door card is all scratched up. We've got a scratch on the airbag cover. Um, and just grime and dirt and stuff. Okay, now on to the good stuff. The engine in this car is brilliant. It's done 250,000 K, but it purrs like a kitten. It's fantastic. The gearbox... Ugh, yuck. Apart from being automatic, which I need, uh, actually shifts really well and has no problems. By the way, this is the first automatic car I have ever owned. I'm getting up there, I won't say my age, but uh, this, yeah, first automatic car I've owned myself. So that's interesting. Uh, engine, gearbox are great. The aircon is cool as a cucumber. It has cruise control and it works. All the lights work, all the electronics work. The only thing I found that doesn't work is the clock, which I'm sure I can fix. Fuel gauges, heat gauges, speedo, taco, everything. Everything works. Windscreen wipers, power windows, power mirrors, everything works. So that is fantastic. Um, what else is good about this car? As I said, the body is straight. There's one tiny little dent there and this, which I have no idea what's going on. Somebody has kicked the crap out of the door sill. <laughs> They're the only real dents on the car. 
I'm guessing somebody with work boots knocking their feet. Weird. Um, other than that, the body is straight. So, we've got a straight car with a working engine and everything with a few mechanical issues. The other thing I've got, the other thing on the bodywork, <laughs> and you guys will laugh about this one, somebody had bolted a WRX hood scoop onto this thing <laughs> with no vent. So I now have five holes in the bonnet I need to get rid of. That's fun. Um, the back bumper is looking pretty rough, as is the front bumper, and the boot is horrendous. It has all sorts of grease and grime in here, and if you pull this up, there is actually gravel under the spare wheel. I don't know what we're doing in here, and I found rocks all under the back seat. Oh, and this this is good. This is this is this is good. And check this out for you 90s kids. Put my key in, by the way, new battery in the key, and the locks work, which is fantastic. Any of you 90s kids would have throffed over this. Look at this stereo unit. No Bluetooth, it's too old for that. Touch screen. We can change the tilt angle. Oh God. The tilt angle of the screen. And I think if I eject, oh, here we go. Disc in. Full tilt, man. I would have throffed my bean off on that when I was 18. Oh, hello. MP3s. Oh, if only I could play that. Unfortunately, YouTube would uh, demonetize me if I put music on here. Look at that. Needless to say, I am going to probably ditch this whole thing because it doesn't have Bluetooth and it's crazy old and it's crap. And plus, the sound only comes out of that one speaker. None of the other speakers work. So I know the big question you're asking, Matt, how much did you pay for this slice of automotive engineering? I paid $1,250 for this little gem. Okay, so what is my plan for this car? Well, not only do I want to make it roadworthy and legal to drive on the road, I also have to make this a nice place for my wife to be. My wife's car is a Volvo XC60 Polestar tune with a full leather interior and option pack. It is a really nice car. I love driving it. Um, I need this car to be not such a step down when she gets in it. It's obviously not going to be as good, but I need to make it a nicer place to be. At the moment, this interior stinks. I'm not going to lie. It's pretty gross in here. I don't know what... I don't know what's been in here, but it's it's gross. And there's sticky things everywhere, and the carpet stinks, and everything stinks, and I hate it. So we are gonna absolutely tear this thing apart and scrub it and make it awesome. So I paid $12.50 for this car. My uh, mission to myself, follow along if you will, is to get this car on the road and a nice place to be for under $2,000. So we're gonna do a few episodes of this, don't worry. The Nug's still the main pro um, project on this channel. This will be a nice little side project. Uh, this is the $2,000 nice car challenge. I don't know. Let's We'll think up a title. Uh, so yeah, keep checking back, guys, and we'll get this puppy on the road. So thanks for watching, gang. Uh, we'll see you over the next few weeks as we get this puppy on the road. I'll fix that too.